We up in a Tesla. Look at this. Big old iPad right here. Super fancy. So fancy. This thing is weird. No handles. Yeah, this thing is super weird. Super fancy, kind of kind of tight. The panoramic sunroof. Blinkers. All right, here we go. Super quiet. Let's see what she does. Oh, she got some speed, boy. She got some speed. Oh, that thing will pin you to the seat. Huh? What do you think, baby? Stop. Oh, I like this. Oh, my God. Well, good morning. Welcome to Monday morning, and I hope you guys had an awesome weekend. Not sure when you guys will be seeing this video, either tomorrow, Wednesday, one of them days, but it's the start of a new week and a lot of things to share with you guys. Definitely gonna be a good week. Got a lot of good content planned for you guys and I hope that you're gonna look forward to that. All right, so first thing to say, hey, I'm up in my new vehicle. Check out Joe in the Jeep. Yep, that's right, folks. I done upgraded to the Jeep because just yesterday, I went and I bought a brand new 2020 Tesla Model 3 standard range, uh, not the, super equipped one because all of that just is five to seven thousand more in extras but this is the tesla is the first car that i've ever put in my name you know getting financing for that thing and ironically enough a 2020 tesla it's a forty-two thousand dollar car it's cheaper than this damn jeep my monthly payment on it is cheaper than this jeep i've been paying for this jeep for two years now the monthly payment on this thing is like 690 something maybe 670 and the tesla is like <clears throat> 620 something so i got a really good interest rate no money down on that thing only had to pay tax tags and whatever for that but i'm super proud of that accomplishment i bought that vehicle for my wife and it's a very i think it's a very smart investment no gas uh, no real maintenance on it I heard somebody say, uh, when I posted this on Facebook yesterday, they said it goes through tires pretty quickly. I've actually heard the exact opposite of that because it's so light, but only time will tell. That thing is fast. I got to drive it all the way home from Richmond yesterday, 100 plus miles. The standard range gets 250 miles per charge. It takes eight hours to charge. And the long range or the extended range gets 325 for an extra eight grand. So I didn't really think I needed that, but maybe we'll see down the road if that standard range just doesn't really last all that long. Another cool thing about that car, it's got the autopilot. I let the car drive itself a lot of different times yesterday. That was really cool. So when we get a chance to film a video up in the car, I'll be in the back seat filming that video. So what else? Oh yeah, this car holds its value better than any vehicle. I could take this car and trade it in and get damn near the full price. If not the full price, if I trade it in with Tesla, I probably will get the full price and I can upgrade to a bigger, better Tesla. And for those of you who don't know, I'll share something that I learned with you guys yesterday. You want to know what the most expensive Tesla is right now, minus the truck, because I bet that's going to be pretty expensive. Most expensive Tesla right now, $120 thousand dollars tried to be smart about this purchase i'm very proud of myself for being able to do that and my wife loves the car it's it's a really nice car no flex intended with that just wanted to share that with you guys another thing over this weekend i just found out i didn't even get the piece of paper in the mail i just found out that i got my rights restored folks i'm no longer a convicted felon actually i am still a convicted felon but i can vote and guess who I'm voting for? Nobody, you're right. I can vote, I can serve on a jury, I can run for public office. That is something right there. Uh, also, over this weekend, it was Connor's birthday. Got a chance to go out to dinner with Connor. Uh, I've been wearing the same clothes for the last three days. If you guys see me on Facebook, I posted this outfit on Saturday. Somebody said I, lo I look like I've lost a lot of weight. This is just a really nice fitted shirt. Uh, I need to get a couple more of these because this thing fits me really well and it makes me look not so fat I'm getting ready to jump on the interstate right now. We got a lot of things going on today It's gonna be a busy Monday and let me drive and I'll share with you guys what all 
we got going on today. Unbelievable, this battery is almost dead. All right, it's work 30, folks, and I got Jaron. Howdy, howdy. We are getting ready to do a little get gone moving and hauling today. Got a couple of moving things we got to do, and uh, it's gonna be a gonna be a good one. I wanted to film getting up to the storage facility because I wanted you guys to hear my truck. My truck is running so raggedy right now. I think my brakes are gone, my rotors are gone, my something's gone. Look at all of this dust or dinginess on my rims. I got no tread back here. My tires are wearing funny. They're low. We're gonna be getting new tires, new rims. We're gonna squat the truck. We'll be doing, I'm kidding, we're not squatting the truck. But anyways, we got the trailer. We are getting ready to get rid of, bing, the dining room table set. So after we posted the video saying, hey, anybody wanna buy a dining room table? An awesome fan is buying this, I'm kidding, it's not a fan, I wish it was. But somebody's buying this table from us for $750. I was supposed to deliver the table yesterday evening when I got back from Richmond from getting the car, but, well, Jaron wasn't available. I would have had to go get him. It was late. Wanted to, I wanted to just spend some time with the car. So I messaged the woman. I said, hey, look, if there's any way we can deliver it today, I'd appreciate that. She was super cool about it. So we're getting ready to deliver the table and chairs. Then we're going to go pick up another couple of tables and a bunch of chairs from an event. We're going to go take those back. And then we're going to be doing some carpet cleaning today. Fun times, because my doggy's got an upset stomach and they've been dookieing everywhere. So carpet cleaning and get going, moving and hauling. We back a little bit, folks. So let's get to work. It's work 30, for, it's work 30 folks who's ready to do some work. Whoa, what the world? That's a lot of smoke. Damn. Ay, ay, ay. All right, got the table and chairs loaded up. We got 15 minutes to get to our destination and I think we've got enough time. So hopefully this will go real smooth. Hopefully we'll be able to get in wherever we're going with this thing. Got no idea where it's going. All I know is it's going downstairs somewhere. Hopefully it's a house, not an apartment. And hopefully it's got some pretty forgiving doors. So we're gonna get a chance to talk with Jaren, see how he's been doing. But we got to go get this done first because we're running on borrowed time. So let's go make a delivery. The truck's going into the shop today. That's gonna happen. We're gonna get these brakes, if nothing else fixed. Then the computer system, then wheels and tires, then the muffler. That'll probably be about five grand right at right there all right let's go try to make a little money and sell this dining room table and chair set feel like we got a moving company again truck shut up you hear them brakes mm -hmm. sounds like the end of the world with them things <sighs> first thing i want to say it ain't even the smoking it's the mask. Yeah. Trying to breathe in this mask while you're doing a move. Yeah. I got nothing but respect for anybody doing moving work right now. That table, every bit of 100 pounds. Every bit of, no, I'm kidding. It was probably two plus. Jaren was struggling, dropping the table. On accident, I didn't mean to. And I didn't drop it. All right, so some drama developing right then and there as we were doing the table. We couldn't get the table apart. Two bolts were stripped. Jaren's trying to tell me in code in front of the, the person buying it. Hey, uh, you remember that thing I was, what the hell was that? My toolbox. Uh, Jaren trying to tell me in code, hey, you remember that thing I was telling you about? That thing? I'm like, oh, my God. This is gonna be bad. How the hell am I gonna get out of here? But anyways, all we did was move a table and some chairs. Very nice woman. She got the table from us. And we're, we are not the moving company that we once was. <laughs> but we got the job done. Now we get to go move some more tables and chairs. I ain't wearing no mask no more. Yeah. That mask thing is dead. That's dead. All right, let's go get more tables and chairs. All right, forgive me on that last little filming right there. We were super gassed and out of breath. And I don't know if it was the cigarettes or trying to breathe through a mask that makes you feel like you're getting waterboarded. 
But shout out to Jaren, man. Jaren, you busted ass trying to help me get that table moved, and it was heavy. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. <laughs> that damn table was boy. How you been doing, man? I'm doing all right. So you got doing them good. teeth? So you got them teeth in, they've been staying in. Yeah, I take them out to eat, but you know, I just, I don't like them stuff getting in between my dentures and my gum. But yeah, no, I'm doing good. Teeth are doing good. I'm learning how to talk. Been practicing rapping with the men and uh, just trying to get used to them overall. Hell yeah. So. What'd you think of moving that table? It was all right. It wasn't that bad. I mean, it was a little bit of pain because of how awkward it was. Once we turned it, you know, it was kind of awkward to grab, but we got it done. Damn. It ain't a big deal. Damn right. So, we're, oh God, now my truck's making the noise. So, we're doing a bunch of moving today. We got rid of the table. I'm helping my wife get some tables and chairs moved. Nothing too crazy there. We're going to be doing some carpet cleaning today because my carpets are covered in dog dookie, and now this battery is dying in this damn camera. We're gonna have to switch cameras and we ain't gonna be able to do that for a couple of minutes. All right, so we've had no time to go get, oh, we've had no time to go get another camera. Our other camera's dead. I'm back using power shots right now because I don't trust the M50 because I had some audio issues with that. And we are loaded up with 24 chairs, a couple of tables where we broke down an event. There was a bar mitzvah that we did, oh God. So anyways, we're gonna go drop off these chairs. We always got some stuff going on and take, gotta take the back way because we got so many chairs in the back of the truck right now and I'm so sketched out that this is not gonna be okay. It'll be all right. Oh God, filming on my phone sucks. There you go. There we go. It'll be all right though. Hey, we'll get it done. Hell of a lot better. Thank you, man. Yeah, no problem. So Cody's on his way over to the house to edit today's video, or to finish today's video. It's pretty much all the way done. And we're going to go drop off these chairs. And I got to turn. I don't like slamming on the brakes when we got a lot of stuff loaded. We're going to go drop off the chairs and the tables. And then we're going to go drop my truck off because it sounds like my wheels are about to fall off of this thing. And then we're going to go clean some carpet. You excited, Jaren? Oh, yeah. Always. Jaren's got to get some glue because his teeth are falling out. He ate a pretzel. Should have filmed that. Mm -hmm. What's it like for Jaren to eat right now? Uh, right now, <laughs> can't do it. There you go. Take a bite. I gotta get my teeth, my bottoms glued back in. <laughs> a lot of drama developing right now, folks. Jaron needs some poly grip, <laughs> and we gotta safely deliver these chairs. We got a lot of wind gust. I can't go over no bridges. We gotta take all the back ways to get where we're going, and that's what we got going on. All right. So we up in the whip. <laughs> Ghost riding the whip. This is the first time we really get a chance to ride it. Well, this is the first time that we get a chance to ride in this and film. Got Jaron up in this thing too. Jaron, what are you thinking? Dude, it's a really smooth ride. Can't hear it. I, I'm amazed. I'm stunned. So this thing's driving itself right now. We're just chilling. It's telling us where the cars are at. It always wants you to put your hands on the wheel. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> That's the coolest thing about this thing. When I drove it home from Richmond yesterday, it was a long ass ride and I was like, damn, right beside an 18 wheeler. Like it ain't nothing. Look, shows you the 18 wheeler right there. Keeps it away from the cars. It's illegal to drive without no hands though. Yeah, no, we got a car up in front of us. Yeah, it knows where, the, where that's at. Super quiet ride. Jaron, how does it ride? Dude, smooth and quiet. Very, very, very quiet. Yeah, all right, we're back to driving now. But, so this is my wife's. So I ain't gonna get a chance to drive this very much. First car that I've actually bought for myself, though, or, or put in my name, 
So really happy with that. Pretty fancy though. Just dropped my truck off at the shop to try to get my brakes fixed and God knows what else. They saw the Tesla, so I'm sure they're gonna tell me brakes now cost a thousand dollars. Can we get in between you? Yeah, we can get in. Man, if y'all ever get a chance to ride on one, please, please do. The power, like, as soon as he is a gas, he just wants to throw you in the seat. Yeah, this thing, uh, it handles really well. Super nice, man. It's a little warm up in here. Nice little audio system in it. Nothing too fancy, but like this car a lot. One thing that I was concerned about was the security on it, like an alarm. And the camera's got 360 degree cameras, all, or the car's got 360 degree cameras all the way around it. So when you're not in the car, if anybody goes near your car, it automatically starts recording and it sends you a notification to your phone. And your phone is your key for this thing. It's got little credit card keys, but once you sync your phone up to this, that's your key. So the car will automatically unlock when you get close to it. And if I spend the seven or eight thousand dollars for the extra enhanced or advanced driving package, you can tell the car to come to you. Come here, boy. <laughs> come here. But hell yeah. Good day today. We delivered a table. We delivered more tables and chairs. And we cleaned up dog dookie stained carpet. Jaron really helped with that. And now my house doesn't smell like a... Pizza. Gosh, oh my, that thing stunk <laughs> so bad. But we got everything done that we needed to get done and we even got a chance to ride in the car. We got a chance to get Jaron up in the car. Not everybody gets to ride in this car though. So, you gotta be special to ride in the car. I'm, I'm, I'm super, super humble and happy that he let me gave me a ride in it well jared i greatly appreciate all the help that you helped me with today it was a lot of stuff that we had to get done got a little stressful for a moment there but we got it all squared away a lot of riding around with a lot of stuff in the back of the truck some stuff came unstrapped thought we were going to lose some stuff but it all worked out so from me and jaron and and uh my boy blue even though it's a silver car. Hmm. Grayish blue. Metallic? I don't know what color this is. It's like a... Uh, uh, smoke blue, almost. Well, from all of us to all of you, thanks for taking the time to rock with us on this video. And we'll look forward to talking with you guys again real soon.